I am trying to add, to build a circuit board, I should say, for a joystick that I've been designing. And if you follow on Instagram uh, or our YouTube channel, you've seen previous instances and you know some of what I'm talking about. So this is my Arduino Uno. Let's see, that's perfect. I don't want the shield, I want the original Uno. Well, this may work. All right, so these this is a representation of the circuit that we're building. And I want, I'm gonna line these up with the pinholes for starters. There we go. So I want to explain to this, uh, to the machine, the schematic, the, that there are certain components and they're connected together like this. And then once I've done that, that explains to the machine the rules of the, the system. And then I can exp then draw out my circuit board and it will make sure that my circuit board follows all the rules so that everything connects together in a sane way. Uh, so let's first start by getting rid of everything we don't need. If you've, and like I said, if you've seen my drawings on Instagram, you may have seen recently I was designing a case. And along with that case, I had a little circuit board that hangs off the side of the Arduino. And that, uh, that circuit board is the one that we are about to make. So I can get rid of all of these and this. And I want, I want a ground. I want five volt power. And that should be it, actually. It's a very simple circuit. Uh, now, let's take all of that and move it over this way because I'm going to need extra room. Great. So in my connectors here, I'm going to have a set of 3 by one or is it 1 by 3 Connection 1 by... 1 by 30 Wow. I just won't... I want a connector, yes. I want con. That seems pretty good. Okay. Um, and I'm going to have six of these. Great. And on one of these pins, I will put ground. You know, what would be even easier is if I do one of these up first and then I, I just copy that. So on one of these, I'm gonna have ground. And on one of these, I'm gonna have five volt. There's five volt. And on the other two, the other, the last one, it's gonna to go to one of these signal pins, right? So let's try this again. I'll go here. And the five volt. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a warning about nets, which is, I'll explain later. Uh... Okay, so. Uh, now I need to draw some wires like this one and I can start here 
go like this, and voila. These aren't actually wires. These are uh, these are the logical connections, right? Um, let's see. So here's a annotate them. So they replace all these question marks with numbers, and then a rules check. Right, no pin to drive it. So what they really want here is they want us to put a flag that says power. Uh, that says that this is a pin which is driven and they're gonna want the same thing on that plus five volt. So if I run this rules check again, all my rules are satisfied. Um, so as far as this system is concerned, everybody's happy. Now to each of these connectors, I need to assign a footprint. So in theory, I've said I want a three pin connector for each of them, but it, it doesn't know how big is that three pin connector when it's put onto a circuit board. And in this next page, I take each of those connectors. It's going to give me the list of connections here. And I want a through hole connector. So that's probably this THT. Probably something like this. I didn't want to close that. I guess if I were better in electronics, I'd recognize each of these and know exactly which one is which. Uh, and I want... I'm going to start with that one and hope that I get it right. Hello. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Now I did save all that out to a format that can be loaded by the next part of the program. Now this part of the program is where I load in my net list. So this is in theory, this is my UNO shield and these are my, my components. Oi, the zoom on this thing, it's kind of crazy. Oi.
I actually wanted not this ground. I wanted the ground on this side. So <clears throat> I'm going to go back to this. And one of these other grounds is going to be the one that I want because it'll be on the right, the correct side. That's right, perfect. Um, now, this footprint is big and it's not what I want, it's the wrong footprint. So again, I can go back to this design and these footprints have to be changed out. Uh, now, let's see here. This connection three by one Uh, uh, what component to use for pinhead? <clears throat> Just reading a moment may not even be a connector, right? It, it could be something else. It's a pin header. Oh, fine. Let's see, can I put this here and put this here and then say pin header? No. Very possibly. So I got it wrong. I don't want GSD connectors. I want pin headers.
No, why? Aha! Uh -huh. 2.54, that's the one I'm looking for. Look at that, see? That's very pretty. That's even lined up and everything. Great. Uh, so, my actual circuit board is not this outside line here. Oh, stop jumping around. My actual circuit board, let's see here, edge cut, edge cuts. And I want to draw a polygon. And I need to cover at least to the five volt, but I'm gonna do a little bit more for some artistic reasoning. Uh, I'm gonna to go to there, and like that, and like there, and like that. And then come back to here, like that. That is that should be my edge cut. Now, my back copper. I want the same thing. And my front copper. Oh, that was my back silk. Boo. Back copper, please. The back copper, it's a layer of copper that completely covers one side of the board. Why do you jump to back silk? And it's on front silk again. I'm I'm getting this wrong somehow. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see. I'm on front copper, and I want to trace the. I want to do the filled zones. My front copper will be the ground plane, please.
Okay. My back copper. Will be the five volt. There's my filled zones. My mm. oh no. This is making me unhappy. Oh no. So I want this to line up with this, this line up with this and so on perfectly, but they're not going to. Um, hmm. And I'm wondering now how I explain to it that this hole and this other hole are the same thing. I don't have a good answer. I know these holes are the correct distance apart, but I, uh, that doesn't help. Um, And this is as close as these can get to each other. Because what I'm what I'm really trying to do is make uh, let me find you a picture so you can see what I'm trying to do. So this is my Instagram. And that was the case. This is what I'm trying to do. This line here, this is the PCB right here. And this is a right angle header that goes in. And then these are the three pin headers that I was just showing you. And this is from the front. So here's our, my six pins. And here's a little explanation of what each of the pins is. And that maybe my company logo and all that fits inside this case. So here's the, here's the blue bit here is, is this board and it's hanging off the side of the Arduino, right? So there's actually there's actually four sets of holes because there's one set of holes along the top here that matches the 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 pins in the side of the Arduino. Um, okay. So I can't push these closer together. Um Oh, I got myself a, a, a doozy. Because it's not really an Arduino shield, is it? No, it is not. Um, these are really just here for reference, right? They're mounted something like this. And then my actual uh, outline, my, my zone, goes from about, uh, goes from about here.
goes like that. Oh, I can't copy it. And then I need to trace some wires here. So on the on one of these two coppers, I need to put some wires like this and go boop, 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 boop. Mm. That's what I want. And then add some text. So let's see how they wanted us to do this text. Signal GND and Justification to the right. There we go. Mm -hmm. And I want that to be on the front silk. And the height. Uh, why is this in millimeters when everything else is... Where's my preview? View, 3D viewer. And it's complaining because I don't have edges set up. Edge cuts. <laughs> Feels bad to me that this is number five and this is number one. So
Keycad, wonderful program, the best. Oh, oh more son of Paul. Oh, and it's reversed them too. Don't you just suck? You know what I will do? I will do this. Yeah, that's fine by me. Uh huh. That sucked. Now those are numbered correctly. There's a way I can hide this shield. Uh, I suppose there isn't. I guess my next step is to upload this to OSH Park and see if it understands that this is the part I actually want. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh huh. That's my front, that's my back, that's my copper. I'm currently using OSH Park for all of my cutting needs. Let's see here. Documents, GitHub, 60 joystick. There's my keycad file. Processing. I thought I made it all confused. Yeah, it's got holes all over the place. Warning, your project doesn't contain a bottom silk screen. I am aware of that. Continue. It should show a bunch of things, but it doesn't. I think I made it very, very confused. Hmm. What I want is the whole pattern that exists here without the rest of the board, right? Huh. Hmm. Well, I'm not too sure how to do it. Hide all layers. Hide all layers. There we go. Those are my edge cuts. That's my front and back copper. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want them, but I don't have seem to have a choice. <laughs> well, it seems I hit on a bigger challenge than I thought. Show all layers. I may have to regroup and think about this some more. I'll see you all next time. And maybe by then I will have an answer.